it's hard. It's, it's just hard because it's another year. It's been 17 years since Rachel Cook was last seen, but her mother, Janet Cook, has never given up hope. From your lips to do the With community support and entire cold case unit working on her daughter's case, she's confident the answers she's long waited for will come to light. Excuse my language, I know the hell that I and the family have gone through for the past 17 years. And the person that knows something, that has got to be eating at them. In January 2002, then 19-year-old Cook was visiting her parents in Georgetown when she went for a run. A witness reported seeing her 200 yards from her parents' home that morning, but hasn't been seen since. The Williamson County Sheriff's Office and Texas Rangers performed massive searches throughout the city and state, but over time, Cook's case began to grow cold. That is until September 2017, when the FBI joined the sheriff's office. And finally, the potential break in the case the sheriff's office was looking for. In April 2018, a white Pontiac Trans Am was recovered from the Dallas area. Janet Cook and the Cook family, I want to remind you when you get discouraged that nothing is being done in your mind or hearing that, that in 2018, we had human DNA that was identified in the Trans Am by the Quantico FBI lab. You didn't have that three years ago. Investigators have continued searching for any evidence tied to Rachel Cook's case since. Crazy, how sweet Rachel was very well loved. And uh, she's still loved today. If you, if you have any information or anything that you haven't turned in or maybe was turned in and wasn't responded to call the sheriff's department and if you are the individual please let it go let us both let us families and you have some peace